Hey guys, your boy Kerp here, and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool Karma, where last time I left off, I picked up big wins over Crystal Palace and Manchester City. In this episode, I have matches against Swansea City and Newcastle United, so two relatively tough games. Well, Swansea, well, normally they're tough. I mean, I mean they're a very good team when they want to be. But in this, they're actually uh, second last in the table, I think. Or well, they might be last. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure of the uh, current. I know both them and Southampton are down there at the bottom. I think Swansea are above Southampton. Because Southampton are winless. Yeah, Southampton, the team who in real life looked perhaps like they might get be a top four finish last season because people were raving about them might not actually might get relegated in FIFA 16 Hello, I think they're actually playing against Chelsea today as well so uh it's, it's, a, it's a Chelsea or Man City no it's, it's Man City it's Man City it's definitely Man City, my bad. Chelsea are playing Spurs, I think? Yeah, Spurs. So, uh, to be two of my, uh, tight arrivals, City, who I've beaten, Chelsea, who I couldn't get a goal pass no matter how much I tried. So, yeah. So, Hampton could actually do me favor because if they s could get the first win of the season and beat City that could easily knock City out of the title race at this early stage and Spurs they beat Chelsea mm -hmm. more better for me although it would mean that the North London rivals and and the most and the most hated team for Spurs in the league Arsenal would stay in second place So a bit of a dilemma there for Spurs today. They'll have to put their uh, the North London pride behind them because they have to win the game. It doesn't matter whether it helps out your rivals or not. I mean, I've had a few occasions in FIFA where my rivals have held me out. And, oh! No goal, so I'm assuming that was either a, maybe a card or an injury or something like that. I don't know. You guys heard it. I didn't. And, and, yes, Daniel! For 1-0 inside 20 minutes. Daniel Sturridge heads it home. Alright, Ricky, it was a good goal. Well, calm down, mate. So, inside 20 minutes, it is 1 0. That's good. Oh, wow. Plowing over my own players. players. Supposed to be trying to get the ball off the guys in white, not the guys in red. You know, he didn't even have the ball. Sigurdsson, who we know can actually hit them. So, uh, that was actually da more dangerous than it seemed. He had gotten that on target, he could have easily given him my keeper a bit of trouble. Hit it, Philippe! Oh, Fabianski! He, with the save. And by the way, does anyone else, did anyone else, does anyone else notice that Fabianski really looks like YouTuber Spencer Owen? I mean, that was like twins, it was a... It was crazy. I was watching the uh, Poland versus Ireland match, 
I was like, why is Spencer Owen in goal for Poland? <laughs> I was I was really confused. I really thought it was him. It wasn't until he said it was Fabianski. I was like, wow, Fabianski. Big fan, no? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty hell, he must be. He's one of the million in subscribers. <laughs> oh. There you go. Uh, if there's any chance that uh, Spencer Owen actually sees this, it's someone you should get for your, your selfie squad, mate. Fabianski. You could be actually in your own squad. <laughs> He's a bit dodgy from headers. Oh, because Steve Okarigi has doubled my lead just before the 40th minute. So I scored a header just before the 20th minute. And a header just before the 40th minute. Look at that Belgian jump. But to be fair, if Spencer concedes a header, he would love it to be a Belgian. <laughs> we all know his... Love for Belgians. <laughs> Just widen the margin here to two nil. Two nil had a double. This could be the game I get that trophy for two goals from corners just because for some reason that's a trophy in this game at first I thought that was telling us that corners were going to be he rubbish Which, granted that's my first goal from a corner in this game at least I think it is is it? it might be it's definitely here a low amount, if not my first goal. Spurs and Southampton are winning. Am I seeing that right? Chelsea and City are losing. Oh yeah. Go Spurs, go Southampton. Southampton looking for their first win of the season. Hell of a time to get it, mate. Hell of a time. Yes, if that stays the way it is. I will actually gain three points on Chelsea. The three points I should have gained on them when I played them. And Man City will fall further behind me. E, and you. And perhaps knock them out of the title race. He's, as here comes Coutinho. His shirt is being pulled. Old referee. Thank you. Your man's already standing in the wall. He's like, uh, maybe if I just stand here, he won't book me. He, very unlikely you're going to get booked for that, mate. I mean, Marco Royce! I cannot score free kicks. This is just not my thing. Right, that's probably as close as I'm gonna get. Coutinho, Coutinho good to tackle from Cork. Hey, I told you to put that over the top, Sturridge. Why did you know over the top that pass? Rodriguez, Hendo's. Go Hendo. Go Hendo. Oh, good to tackle from Rangel. Marco Royce looking for another header. Ayu is like, nah, ah, ah. Not this BS again. And it would have been on the 60th minute. Like, is it every 20 minutes I score a header or something? Well, unless I score oh, from this corner. And get that trophy, and then what? Why is it giving? Why? Why is it? Why are they celebrating with Henderson? I don't know. It's in. It's in in any event. 
the Harley giving that to Henderson. It was headed in by Varane. Oh no, it was headed in by the Swansea defender. That's a known goal. Oh, I thought Varane got that, but it's the Swansea defender. Tan, no idea how how to pronounce that. It's three headers for three goals, and I didn't get the trophy. You son of a whore, or oh, EA. That is such BS. Bye, head there. Here comes Gomez. Oh, I don't think Gomez can help. Unless the par unless he's a. Uh, I don't know who's really good at defending corners and crosses and stuff like that. So there you go. If you play Swansea, just cross at them. Apparently, they're weak against that. Uh, because. Three goals, all of them have been headers. Storage, whip it in again. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> he missed it. Is Royce? Go, on, Marco. Go on, Marco. Go on, Marco. Foul? No? Really? That's that's not a foul. Um, okay. I don't know what world you live in, ref, but seeing someone muscle me off the ball would normally indicate a foul for me. Uh, Varane, where are you going? There's Origi. To continue. Oh, penalty. Well, the good news is I'll score a goal that's not going to be a header. The bad news is it's going to be 4-0. If I scored the penalty. Cork, very stupid. He, he was asking for that to happen. Coutinho made the very most of it. it and uh, by getting bulldozed. And it's for Marco Royce. He's. If there was any doubt, the points are definitely 100% wrapped up now. Gave poor Spencer no chance. It's 4-0. Oh, and yeah, I'm not going to stop that because he really does. Cause I'm telling you, go. Oh, look for yourself. Oh, although I'm pretty sure. Anyone who, who watches YouTube, FIFA YouTube videos knows who Spencer is. Gareth. Go, Nathaniel. Go. 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 Back to Bell. Whip it in. I think that would have actually been in our own goal. I think that was actually... This one thing player, I don't think Sturridge got that. Could be wrong. Nathaniel Klein. I went for it. I don't know why. Whip in Nathaniel. Turigi. Oh. Could have been four out of five on the headers. Gareth Bale. That was a terrible shot straight at Williams. There's the full time whistle. Swansea put out of their misery by ref. By the referee. He. He. And I win the game 4 0. Ah, oh, Southampton couldn't get their first win, and Spurs could only manage a draw against the London rivals, Chelsea.
I'm happy with that, to be honest. That means Chelsea and City both dropped two points. Fine by me. <laughs> Drop all the points they want. Um, looks like I will lose Colo because he's not going to sign a new contract. Nope. Fair enough. Thank you for your service, Colo. Uh, wanted to keep you around. To be honest, I was going to tell you in January yeah, anyway. But uh, yeah, um, come January, you can uh, talk to other clubs. Good luck with that. I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there are teams that would definitely take you on. 77 rated in that, 34 years old. Well, definitely. Nothing to worry about, mate. As he starts decreasing rapidly he between now and January. Although, we are in December now, so he'd have to go down really fast in a really short time. Hmm. Look at that. I'm the top goal-scoring team in the league by a whole 12 goals to Chelsea, who are on 26. I have 38. If you told me I had 38 goals... I wouldn't have believed you, but last episode, if you didn't see it, was uh, probably where most of those 38 goals came from. I'm not going to lie. Chelsea would probably be above me if I didn't get all those goals last episode. Good punch out by Cruel Henderson. Royce. And it's a no surprise Henderson is being fouled. Of course, former Sal Sunderland player. I almost said Southampton. I'm not surprised he's not a former Southampton player, to be honest. Brigi. Ooh, good clearance by Gufran. And I was trying to set up Bell for a. For a Masha, as the English say. Do they actually say that, or is that just. I just heard that and assume they say that. They probably don't even say that. There's probably English people now screaming at me. Oh, you don't even know anything about this country, you dumbass. I live in Ireland. We assume a lot about England. That's probably not th true. Sturridge, ooh, good save by Cruel. The uh, Dutch keeper equal to the shot from Sturridge. It's Klein. To Bale. Shoot it, Bale. Straight at Colacini. Brilliant. Get up, Bale. You're not really injured. I hate when the players do that. They go down and they're grabbing their legs like they're injured. And I'm like... Is he actually injured, or is he just pulling my leg? Bell! Ooh! Hydara saved! If I'm there. Might have gone in, if not the for the Hydara the block. Hit his uh, upper chest or shoulder. So, uh, not a handball, so... Luckily, f I've handballs off anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered if it was a handball. It wouldn't have been given. <laughs> Bale. Rice. Ooh. Save again from Cruel. And Cruel gets there before Royce. It's a rich who we know very well from FIFA 15. He was a part of. He was someone I use very regularly. He was one of my backup strikers with uh, Marco Icardi. So uh, I, I personally hope he does well with, with with Newcastle. Obviously, it's not going well for, for him. But hopefully, 
he can turn it around. Because I'd like to see him do well, just because it's a player I perhaps brought to light because he was. Uh, so he's known. He is known for having a really good potential in FIFA 15. And not a lot of people used him. I did. Nah. I think AA9 skills might have signed him in a career mode as well, but didn't actually use him. Oh no, I didn't actually watch the career mode. I know he. I think he signed him. I might be thinking of somebody else, to be honest. Ooh! Danny! Daniel! What in the hell was that? Cheeky. He's like, hey, if Wayne Rooney can do it, it must be easy. <laughs> hey, who's the hot side? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that would have been. That would have actually kind of pissed me off. He scores a bicycle kick and it was offside. Rigi. Royce. Sturridge is headed head away by Hadara. Zanita. It's Hadara again. Williamson. Mike Williamson, who's who Newcastle fans tell me is terrible. I don't really pay attention into Newcastle unless they're playing against Liverpool so forgive me if I don't actually know much about any of their players except the ones who I see regularly or like Mitrovic who I know well from playing with him last year I know he's a danger very much a danger in the air so I will be trying to avoid letting them have any sort of uh, set piece in this game And just as I say that, I've given them a chance to make a set piece. Because it's a free kick. Anita. Yes, Colicini is our position. Ah, oh, that was my chance with Colicini in our position. He was up for a free kick. But I didn't take the chance. Sturridge. Yes, he's gotten away from him. I think that was Teote. Yeah, that was Teote. Anita's over there. Origi! Oh! Why didn't you shoot when I told you to? He went to, like, control and he controlled it out of play. Now they brought on Genie for a bit of magic. Go, Coutinho. Go. Go. The Brazilian. He's through. He beats Colacini and smashes it past Tim Krul. Oh, and the Brazilian makes it 1-0. Newcastle, credit to them. They were very good. Hard to break down. But Coutinho's those fit um, of magic. They brought on the genie, but I have a Brazilian. And you can't compete with the magic of a Brazilian. Everyone knows that. They're all magicians down there, apparently. And that's only his third goal in the Premier League. Uh, a very crucial one. Now Newcastle must break down my def Now Newcastle must break down me. Because I get the three points if I win one nil. Thank you very much. I was offside. 
or I fouled him. They just they brought off Mitrovic. They had a chance to get a ball to a big guy and they brought him off. It's like the opposite of the thing to do. Should have left him on at least for the free kick. Then you can make the substitution. I mean, I know Cissé is no small player, but Mitrovic is really good in the air. Sturridge. Continue again. Ooh. Almost a bit of Brazilian double. He can set the corner count, Alan Smith. This is the punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. Daniel Klein. Oh, I went for it. I'm not going to lie. I was about to shoot. Was a very well timed tackle. And they tackled the ball for me. Credit to him. Oh, Marco. Marco. To Daniel Sturridge. It's come back to Marco Royce. It's 2-0. Oh, the points are secured. Daniel Sturridge's shot. He was blocked by Cruel. But not much he could have done. Against the German Annihilator. Marco Royce. Two nil. The man wearing number sixteen makes it two nil. Newcastle want to make their substitution now. Coutinho. Rigi. Make it perhaps a third. Sturridge. Oh, why didn't you shoot? He c Again, that's the same thing that happened to Rigi earlier. He controlled it. He didn't shoot. And Gareth is offside. There's the full time whistle. It didn't rain matter in the end. But got the win. And two now. Well, Newcastle would solid for a long time. Then Continuo finally broke up and down, and then and Marco Royce with a a brilliant shot. Cruel as good as he is, would never have saved it. yeah six points from two games thank you very much i will take a very successful episode my opposition my my rival teams dropped points everything went my way in this episode really so yeah very very productive episode if i do say so myself Anyway, let's get some training done. Because I've just noticed I'm not at 30 minutes just yet. Train some of the younger talent. See if I can get him up to perhaps to a decent range so someone might loan him in January. This guy, if I can get him up. Then he'll be ready to come up to the first team. Sure, Ray left these guys in the uh, youth system. I'm gonna expect to play. 
Thiago Elori. Probably get him up to 75 if I can find a drill with uh, green arrows going up. Can I? But one for Hellas and Volley. There we go. That might, might get him up. Probably uh, hoping for too much there, really. Oh, Lawrence, eyelash out from being 51. Hmm. That was some good growth there, to be honest. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm going to simulate this game against Sion because I'm already qualified for the next stage of the uh, Europa League. I don't really need to win the match. Good players there. Not so good. Terrible. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Terrible. 